as I lay me down. No one is guaranteed of good health. Certain health complications and sickness are always accompanied with pain, agony, and desperation. Can Delight gives you the opportunity to share your pain with the rest of the world. To get your case featured, contact us through SMS line 2144. You can make a call on 020-250-2880. Or write to us at KNDLight at gbskenya.com. Go and get medication, which I've sought for many days and many years, and I could not get it. By grace of God, if it were not for them, this moment could not have come. KNDLight, brought to you by PCA Kikuyu Hospital. We are grateful to all our viewers for your great love towards patients featured at Care and Delight. We link well wishers with needy patients to support them with medical bills. To reach us, you can SMS at two double one double four or visit our Facebook fan page, Care and Delight. Today we visit Lankia Nursing Home and Dialysis Center at PCEA Kiamba Church, Kiambu County, where we meet John Wamuti, a father of three. By taking a mere look, he looks strong, happy, and vibrant, but that is not the reality. His fate lies on the hands of the Almighty. Lankia Nursing Home has become like the second family to John. My name is Josephine Munyao. I'm the supervisor of the nursing, nurse cares uh, who work in this hospital. They make sure the patient is comfortable, even the dialysis patients. They make them neat. They also assist whatever the diet from the kitchen because we have the their diet, the special diet which they take when they come here to be done dialysis. And I'm very happy with John Wamutu. Since he came here, we have seen a very big difference uh, through this dialysis. And what I can say now about him, uh, he, yeah, for the time being, he can walk without, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't have that that difficulty he had before. In fact, he's, made, he's doing well through the diet, through the diets we are doing here, he has improved. He's not tired like before. And that's why we make sure they have eaten at the right time, the right diet for this dialysis. And also the nurse cares whom I supervise, they make sure the patient is neat and they are, whatever their bed is neat for the breathing environment. He is taken care of from his special diet to his welfare. dialysis. Na vile na na kaka sasa ni kaka kama siku bili ine, nisikia tu nimechoka kuhema hivyo. Sasa kama zaidi nikienda, sasa zita kuwa nimesikia tu nimechoka sana, ama ninahema. Paka siku sasa ya tena ya Friday. Friday sasa, ya tena ninasikia, nimechoka sasa, nitawamu na kuja satati. Anne Gikara, a nurse at Lankia, gives us a short explanation of John's condition and what they are currently doing to keep him going. My name is Anne Gikara, a dialysis nurse at Kemba, a Lankia Dialysis Center. Um, I've known um, John Wamuti Mutu since August last year when he started coming for dialysis. He came as a referral from Kenyatta National Hospital, a 
and when he came he they had referred him because it uh, uh Kiamba is near his home so we prefer our patients dialyzing near their home so that they can continue with their daily lives so he, he comes twice a week for dialysis he comes on wednesdays and saturdays and he's so far he's been keeping his appointments uh, he, he comes uh, every visit he has to spend spend uh, 9500 shillings so per week is 19000 and he has to get his um, iron supplements which he gets this one called iron sucrose which he gets once a week and erythropoietin he gets these drugs because when the kidney is affected the there's a substance called erythropoietin which uh, is produced in the kidney so when the kidneys are affected it is not produced so that is why he has to get the iron supplements for him not to get anemia but once or twice he has uh, had low uh, low hemoglobin levels he has got anemia and we have had to transfuse him so one transfusion at this dialysis center costs 5000 so uh, it, the, the expense is so much that is why we need him to get um, a kidney transplant because at his age a kidney transplant will be um, beneficial to him because it will give him a whole lot of uh, uh, time so that he can concentrate on his work he doesn't have to get uh, the anemias and then he can be productive what happens when uh, a person has a kidney failure or renal failure is that is the body is not able to get rid of the toxins in the body and the water so that is why he has to come twice a week because uh, first it does not produce enough urine to, pro to to get the water out of the the body so it's like it's a continuous cycle if he doesn't come for dialysis the day he's nearly coming for dialysis you get that he has a lot of fluid the fluid accumulates um, of course there are here there are advices that we've given him so that he doesn't get get into um, that excesses of a lot of water in the body so once He's nearing dialysis. You get uh, he gets the symptoms like he starts he starts getting tired. The body starts to swell the edema because the water is not being released from the body. So during dialysis, we help the kidney do the functions. We help we help his uh, body to 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 near normal because now the dialysis does the work of the kidneys. There's no given timeline, but uh, you see, the sooner the sooner he gets the kidney transplant, the better, because we of the uh, comorbidities, the diseases that he can get, the, the like the infections that he can get now that is on dialysis, the anemias. We have to get rid of that. Yes, because when we get a kidney transplant, it's a whole new life. It, after his dialysis at Lankia, we headed back to his home at Kerwa. He welcomed us to his humble home, where we meet his family. I am a genealogy of John Wamute, Mutu. I am a Kerwa, I am a Shodi Water Project. I am a Baba of Tototatu. I am a Naito of Masewaboy, and I am a Gine Chaos Muigai, and I am a Bridget Jerry. John Wamuti takes us back to what really made his life full of anguish and extreme fear. Sasa vile vile jeka nilianza na hii ugonjwa tarehe 26 mwezi wa 8 2017. Nilianza kusikia nina hema, nasikia miguu imefura. Sasa nikienda nikaangaliwa nikaonekana ni nifigo si mifili. Sasa nikaanza dialysis kiamba bankia PCA sasa ndio naendanga kila wiki siku mbili kwa wiki 
tu kwenda huko kiamba kwenda na kurudi na lupisho wa mia piki piki na matatu twenty sasa matatu twenty na hii mia na hile ya dialysis inakuja ninety six twenty yu diyo na lupisho angwa ipekuwa gumu lakini sasa lazima ujisukumilia kwa sababu hakuna kitu kingine utafanya sasa si edaki kazi niacha kitu ta kama mwezi ya tisa hivi last year hmm. yu nikienda huko sasa hata siwezi fanya kazi nasikia sasa hata kitu tu kuenda kutembea hapa ninachoka hmm. sasa hiyo kazi nikaacha hivi sasa kutoka mwezi ya tisa ndio niliacha kazi sasa mwenye ananishirikia kazi uh, kwa chakula mafazi ni dada yako na au wengine wote sasa hao ndio tunashirikia wananishirikia our loved ones are the ones that should be there to give us strength when challenges have overcome us but that was not the case in John's situation his wife went away after John was diagnosed with the illness sasa mke alieda sababu nilikoje nilikojeka sasa akaniacha hivyo pia sema tu nikae nafanya nini na nikisema ni wewe mwingine tena akuje ona nikugojwa tena aende nini things have not been that simple for John and the rest of his family challenges have been there day after day but some of his friends are trying their level best to help him out Mabikuwa mekuwa na mimi hawajaniachilia na tunakuwaga nao hata wanakujaga kuniangalia siku nyingi sana. Eh, inataka kidini kubadilishwa inatakiwa inataka 3.5 million na inataka nikupele kwa India. Eh, ile mabugumu niko naye ni ya kukosa fedha ya kwenda dialysis na tena hata John Chage, his namesake, has been one of his closest and long-term friends. More to that, he knows him since primary school. He has a clear view of how his friend has been since his liver failure started. He speaks to us. Ni ya John wa Muti Mutu. Rafiki yake karibu tumesoma naye kwa primary school. Tukaachana kidogo wakati Ligi High School naye akaingia kazi akaanza kufanya kazi. Tumekuwa marafiki wa dhati. Eh, kwa muda wa mwaka kama miaka 20 hivi ndio alipatikana ugonjwa wa sukari. Na baada ya kuanza kutumia hizo madawa za sukari eh, kuanzia mwaka jana mwezi wa nane akaanza kuhisi anachoka akitembea akaanza alipanga kusikia kuna harufu harufu kwa katika da, uh, kwa damu yake kabisa tumpeleke hospitali aende apimwe na tunatujua shida ni nini wakati nilienda hospitali wakati nilienda Kenyatta alipimwa na akapatikana kuna ugonjwa wa figo na sio figo moja ni figo zote mbili ambazo zifanye kazi na ndipo hapo tukaanza akaanza kwa dialysis wana na dialysis hapa pale PC Kiamba mara mbili kwa wiki siku ya Jumatano na Jumamosi na wina mgarimu kiasi tuseme kama ni saa zingine 10 pamoja na pamoja na, na, na usafiri kusafiri kwa sababu gharama ya ya dialysis ni 9500 na hizo zingine anatumia kwa katika kwa fare na hapa ajua njiani tutapata chakula kidogo ya kula eh yeye ndiye alikuwa tegemeo la hii boma kwa the bread winner na sasa wakati alilemewa sana tangu kuanzia mwezi wa kumi kuwaendi kazini kwa hivyo wamekuwa akipitia changamoto nyingi sababu anategemea mradi zake ambao wengine hapa hapa karibu waje msaidie na marafiki ambao tumemsikilia mpaka wakati huu his wish for now is to see his friend back to his normal activities so as to continue with his duties as a son and a father providing for the family Asha pata mtu kupatia figo Tuta ndio aende kupata tuende kutafuta kiasi cha pesa ambacho tunakisia tuna, 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 kitakoe milioni 3 na nusu 
tuweze kupata ndio aende aende atibiwa rudi na kirudi kazini aanze kufanya kazi yake vile vile anafanya tutafurahia sana kwa hivyo wakenya wenzangu na waombeni mwenye kidogo kidogo kikubwa tumsaidie John wa mti aweze kutibiwa na kurudi katika hali yake ya kawaida his illness has caused sadness agony and desperation to the family most especially his mother wamboi a heart is breaking to pieces seeing his son struggling to get better my name is wamboi and wamote is my son he got sick with diabetes then later his liver failed we wish we can get help with his medical bills because the hospital requires three and a half million kenyan shillings for his treatment in India and we're not able to afford. I feel very sad because he's the one that provides for me. But now that he cannot, some well-wishers help us with unga, but when we don't have any, we sleep hungry. Her desire is to be able to see his son back on his feet and full of life. I plead to Kenyans to hear my cry as a mother and help me out so that Pamita will get treated. We believe if you help, Mamote will get treated and God will bless you. Joyce Wanjiko is her younger sister and a friend. They have grown and took care of their mother together since her illness. They have worked hard to make sure her mother can get better but after John became sick that was cut short her sister explains the journey but Joyce wa Chikomuto John wa Mute Muto ni brother yangu ule mkubwa kuniliko ni yeye alizaliwa mbele nikamfuata John has always lived his life supporting his family now their family has come to support him and to show him love at this time in order to help him overcome his illness sasa last year mwezi wa 9 akalemewa kabisa kwenda kazi na sisi tukaamua yenye tu amekuwa msaada kwetu hata na sisi hatutamwacha tumekuwa tu tukifanya kibarua kila mtu pahali anafanya tunawaletea chakula akisema chenye anataka tunafanya juu chini tunaona hakosi hata kama hatapata chote chenye alikuwa anahitaji tunaona hakosi tumepata dona na tukipata pesa Mungu akitujalia na tunaomba sana tupate hii pesa yenye tunahitaji 3.5 million aende India afanywe transplant arudi akiwa mzima apone akuje arudi kwa kazi yake maana ni mtu wa bidii ni mtu anapenda kazi ni mtu mwenye hataki kuona akikosa hivyo tunaomba tu, kama tunaweza pata hiyo pesa akienda tu arudi akuje afanye kazi yake akiwa mtu mzima mtu mwenye amepona na tutashukuru Mungu sana ara muhimu hatuwezi kosa kushukuru Mungu sababu amemweka for 20 years akiwa mgojwa na hata sasa tunaamini atapona na Mungu atazidi kumweka kuna wengine hata mtu akiambiwa wako na ugojwa wa sukari anakufa hiyo siku. Lakini yeye amesimama tu na akijua yeye ni mgojwa, hajui atapona lini, hajui mguu wake atashuka lini na hiyo pesa ikipatikana. Mimi ni mmoja wao ambao nitasafiri na yeye mpaka India. Niende nimtunze huko vinye amekuwa akinitunza nikiwa mzima yeye amekuwa akinitunza nikiwa mzima lakini mimi nitamtunza akiwa mgojwa na nitaenda na yeye nisimame na yeye na nikae na yeye na nirudi na yeye na ninaamini Mungu atatutetea John please for help to anyone who wishes to give him a hand 
we can unite as one family and help John to recover because a hand that giveth receiveth. Help has raised the required amount of 3.5 million that is required uh, for the kids' last month, which will be done in India. Whatever you have, please let's help this gentleman get back, get to get back on his feet, since he is the he, he, he was the only breadwinner of the family. Thank you so much, Kenyans. That's an number of Kenya. Munisaidia, niweze kuenda idia, koma tibabu, na kire kitu mutu wa patata kama ni kidogo, tatisha shukurani. Sababu tumeka hapa na familia, sasa tukomwisho. Mungu wa baliki.